freed up some space because it kept messing with me saying I had too much storage and I deleted a bunch of stuff. So everything's deleted. But the, the film I just did about the mop and the boiling the hot water, it didn't post on my Facebook. Okay, so this is going to be part two of that. And then part one we talked about, hopefully this will run a little longer because I deleted a bunch of videos. My shoulder, my, my shoulder's really hurting because of that gate. They didn't fix our gate right in. It's really hard to open and close it. And it's like, it's putting a lot of wear and tear on my shoulder. So, you get um, this stuff here is the cleaning solution. And then um, you can boil hot water over this part of the mop when you're done mopping the first time. And then I put the broom and the dustpan in here when I first boil the water. Hold on. Okay, when I first boil the water, I pour a little bit of that in there. Then we boil the hot water, just like maybe one pot of it, one, and you don't even have to fill it up. Just boil it, one little pot of boiling hot water over that with this cleaning solution. You just put a little bit. Then you fill this up with water so that it'll stretch because once you get it low a little bit, then you fill it back up with water because it's highly concentrated, so that'll make it stretch. Then. After you mop, you put this in there, and then if you have to mop again, you boil the hot water over this. If you have pets and everything, you're going to have that problem, so you boil the hot water over that. And then you don't have, you just boil one pot of hot water over this. And then you could dump out the dirty water or whatever. And then I mopped all this floor today. And then um, the bathroom this is what you do for the bathrooms. You get a little, you fill that pine saw stuff up with like a whole bottle of this. This stuff is my favorite stuff to clean with. Kills 99.9%. .9%. This is my favorite, but they didn't have it at Sam's Club. And then we bought some Lysol. So then you spray the toilet. This, usually I pour cleaning solution inside there. And I let it sit inside there. Like, I'll get some cleaning solution, and I'll I'll fill this thing up and let this thing soak inside that. And then just clean this stuff in here. Because usually, because that's how you sterilize this, too. And you just clean all this stuff, clean all this. And then um, this stuff here, just spray this. Lysol all over everything. Spray Lysol over everything. And then spray this stuff too all over this, all over the sink, and then wipe it down. And you can spray it over here. But if you want to sterilize stuff, you can boil a whole bunch of hot water over that just in case, you know, you feel like it's not clean enough. But I did the rooms. I swept them off the rooms in the bathroom. I got to, um, I think, I don't know if I cleaned my bathroom yet. I think I did. But so those are some cleaning 101 tips. I did part one and part two. <laughs> in one video <laughs> so it's not that it's not that complicated <laughs> and it didn't take that long what really hurts is my shoulder Janie you know because all of us were trying to get this gate to close and it was just like what the heck and it's just like really putting a lot of wear and tear on my shoulder whoo lord jesus plus all the other stuff we do like i do but I haven't even deadlifted in a couple of days. I know it's not the deadlift, you know, because I know how to, I'm doing the deadlift right because I saw somebody deadlifting. People do them differently. People do them however they want. But I mean, as long as you're not pulling it with your back, you got to do the deadlifts with your legs and your upper, your upper, you know, arms, your upper body, like 